So our new guest is simply awesome. She's a single mom with quite the full house. She fostered six boys all at the same time. And just this month, she officially adopted all of them. And on, the, yeah. and on top of that, she has two biological children. And that's why Jessica is today's rad human. Have you met Michelle and Dion and Rob? Have y'all met before? Okay. I haven't, but I, I didn't know if y'all specials. met backstage. Oh. You watch my special? I did. Go, girl. Yeah. Go, girl. She also has a chain on her. So, I yeah. Did. Yeah. <laughs> so Jessica, how did, first of all, you smell wonderful. I don't know what you're wearing, but you smell, it's Thank intoxicating you. in the best way. So, how did you end up with six boys? Uh, well, it's like a snowball that turned into an avalanche, is kind of how it happened. Yeah. So it started out, uh, I was, my ex-husband and I found uh, a mom and four kids in the car behind our garage. Wow. And so we uh, took the four kids in, and the mom sort of fell off the scene for a little bit. So uh, wow. two, the two girls ended up in a different home, and the two boys stayed with me. Then three months later, I got a call that said, could you take these three boys in just for the weekend? That was almost five years ago. <laughs> the weekend has never ended. It's a long weekend. <laughs> it's a very so, long, weekend. long weekend. And then a few months later, they said, oh, and these three boys have a younger brother. Do you mind? <laughs> so, oh, my god! So I went from two to eight in, uh, you know, You have a the biggest heart. <laughs> that is a lot. Of, I mean, I have four kids. It's a lot of work. It's, it's, a, lot of it's work. a lot of work. So, um, Jessica, you also grew up in the foster system. I did. So I was in and out of foster care up until I was 12. Uh, when I was 12, my mom voluntarily terminated her rights. Um, but then wow. that left me in the system until I aged out. I also had a younger brother who was in and out of care with me, but then he went to go live with family. But it, it affected our dynamic. We didn't grow up together. Mm. Um, you know, so we weren't, we've never really recovered from that. Our relationship is still sort of strained and distant, which is part of the reason why siblings in foster care, keeping them together was real important to me. It is, you know, some families might be open to taking one child, maybe two, but sometimes if you have a sibling set of four, those could end up in four separate homes and, and the distance is just immeasurable. I, I can only imagine. So what do you think the biggest mi misconceptions about, uh, you know, fostering or adopting older kids is? Everyone seems to think the older you are in care, the more damaged you are. Like, and it's irreversible damage. So if you're under five, there's still hope for you. Maybe we can nurture the damage right out of you. But if you're over five, um, five to 10, your odds are much slimmer. 10 and up, they think if that's it, you're, you're beyond repair. And that's just not true. That's so horrible. Yeah. And Michelle, you're, this is interesting, but actually your, your parents were foster parents, right? That's, that's correct. You really are a rad human. <laughs> I first, I just have to say that, boy. Um, you know, my mom ran a daycare out of our home for 40 years, so there were always children around. My mom is a real, real nurturer, as is my dad, and they sat, my brothers and I, down one day and said, we're going to take in children less fortunate than us. And we fostered 12 children um, over the course of, of uh, us growing up. And I just want to say what a gift you are. Uh, because what you give when you take in children, not only do you impact their lives, but you impact the lives of your own biological children. Oh. And uh, the way that you found your family ultimately is, is so beautiful. And I just really commend you. And um, Thank you. <laughs> So you finally actually adopted all, the, all these boys this month, right? Yes, you, they've yes. been with you for a while, but you officially adopted them this month. Yes. That's exciting. It How is. does that feel? <laughs> it, was, um, it, was a, it was a long, long, long road. It seemed like it took forever. Um, and as far as we were concerned, we've been family almost from day one. We, you know, when it, we just all clicked. But it was really nice to have the judge say to everybody, you can't tell people, people are quick to say, you're not family. No one can say, we are not family. He banged yeah. that gavel, we are family. That he banged that gavel. gavel. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it was a Friday. And so we just treated it like any other Friday. We had a dance party, we watched the movies, and we ate Papa John's. <laughs> That's what we do every Friday. First of 
well, that sounds like an awesome night. And when can I come over? If you involve board games, it's like like yeah. literally my heaven, what yeah. you just mentioned. Yeah. You know, so that's what we did. So let's meet some of her kids. This is her biological son, Eli, and two of her adopted sons, brothers Carter and Sydney. Give it up for them. To y'all, like, I think, because I grew up alone a lot, is it kind of awesome to have so many siblings around to, like, play with, like, games and everything? Yes. Yeah. Just, yeah, I like the answer. It's just a <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you run a tight ship, though, right, Eli? Here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm in charge. My mom's not there, you know. I got to deal with all, all of my siblings. You're the you eldest, know. right? Yeah. I, I, uh, most mature, you know. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> Does he rub that in? Like, I, I yeah, do, like, I do like yes. that. I, I like enforcing, you know, there are strict rules set out in the house, you know. <laughs> I push them, you know, if you, you don't want to follow them, you, you get in trouble, and you know what you're getting in trouble oh for. Oh my God, you're the oldest sibling. Oh. That is totally the oldest sibling. You're, you're in trouble now. Yeah, I'm, trouble. I, I'm, I'm fair, I'm fair with what I do. So Jessica, what, what does it mean to you, really, to just be a mom to all these, I mean, look at how handsome they are, how outstanding they look right now. I mean, how does that feel? Yeah, you know how, I think a lot of us go through life, like, looking for our purpose, what it is that we're, you know, mm -hmm. and we stumble across it. It might be a job, it might be a hobby, it might be something. I, I still don't know what I'm going to be when I grow up, but I can tell you without a doubt, with absolute certainty, my purpose is to be their mom. Yeah. Like, so I have nice. never, ever known something more truly in all my life than and fulfilling. Than that. Yep. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, but how, do, how does that make y'all feel, just knowing that somebody loves you and knowing that, you know, she knows where you're coming from. It's not like somebody doesn't know, you know, taking care of you that hasn't been you themselves. That's got to mean something, the fact that she's actually been where you are and she loves you enough and she knows where you're at. That's cool, right? Mm -hmm. I think that that's the most significant part of this story is that, Jessica, you've been them. Yeah. And I, that, I, that's really cool. I wish that more, there are, first of all, there's over nationwide 450,000 children in care on any given day. Yeah. I wish that more of us who did survive the system, who came out, we maybe didn't, it wasn't all roses and butterflies and kittens, but we got it together, and we managed to go on, and we are we're productive people. We are not damaged beyond repair. I love I wish more, more foster survivors would come and speak up and yeah. give back. Yeah, I mean, what do y'all think of this? It's Those cool. Those are some really, they don't look too cool, neither. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good thing. But you all are cool. You're super cool. And I think you guys are awesome. And keep being not cool. <laughs> and keep being <laughs> So here's the, here's the, if you missed it earlier, you'll catch up later. <laughs> but, and here's the thing, too. Like, I always say, like, and for somebody that, I had a brother and sister, but I never grew up with them. I didn't really grow up with them. And just from a kid that did grow up on her own a lot, like, having to create her own, like, invisible friends, um, it's, it's, like, really... Really remember each other. These are your people for the rest of your life. These are your brothers and sisters that are going to be with you for the rest of your life. Whether you're being a turd or whether you have a good day, whatever it is, they love you unconditionally. And I just think that's really awesome. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.